Hey guys, this is Mount Man with BCB Bushcraft here. Doing a bit of a demonstration on the first step of making a shotgun shell capsule. Um, I don't have a torch. Mine got dropped. The end broke off and now it doesn't work anymore. So, we're going to use some pliers and, for fire, an old lighter. Barbecue lighter. Um, so, first off, I hate these lighters. Let's see if this one will even light. Barely. Alright, I'm gonna get a different lighter as we're back. This time I got a Zippo. Full of fuel. We'll use this to heat this up. Since my torch has failed me. I'm not even sure this is actually gonna work. I may have to take it out of the vise. Try this. And that's how you do it. It comes off a lot easier if you have a torch. Leaves you with that cap right there, although on the inside. Um, let me get the lighter again so you can have good light to see it. Stay in there. Down here on the end you have this funny looking pattern. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, anyway guys, that's the first step. Back with the second one here. Alright, the next step in making one of these. We're going to need an empty shell, some scissors, and the cap we just pulled off. So you want to trim off this crimped bit right here. Just take some scissors and cut around it spirally until you've got it or you want it. You want to have a relatively even cutoffs. So it's kind of flat on the top. Just get a good cap on there. Put the other piece on. You see how it's relatively flat? It's all smooth now. The next part is very simple. You take this, and it goes over the end just like that. Now, if you have a loose fit, you can take this and punch a little dents in on the sides to hold it a little tighter. Especially if you're using two different makes of shells. This one's a Winchester, this one's a Federal. It's a wee bit loose. So I'll just take... Probably use the tip of a closed pen. Make little dents in it. You can use a hammer, nail set or something. You can probably even take a pair of pliers and carefully bend it. Now it fits on tighter. You know, you, whatever you want in there, Vaseline, cotton balls, Vaseline and cotton balls, band-aids, anything that'll fit. Anyway guys, that's all the simplicity there is to it. Not real difficult, easy to do. The only waste I have is the one melted crushed shotgun shell. Those little shavings. You have one of these. And they actually do fit quite well inside an Altoids tin. Got my two right there. Open it up. Stick them in there. Hmm. Shorter ones. Oh, that'll work. Fit in there like that. Put other stuff around them. Close this down. Real nice. This one actually stays in there really well. I would stick them in there that way too if you wanted. Uh, there's other stuff you could do. I'm sure you'll see things in different videos coming up here in the future. But thanks for watching. I got some editing to do. So I'll catch you next.